Welcome to Network TV, the show that dives into the transformative power of education and community engagement. I'm your host, Jenny Rojanasatian, the Executive Director of the NCW Tech Alliance. Today, I have the privilege of introducing you to an organization that is making a profound difference across North Central Washington, CAFE, the Center for Advancement of Family and Education. CAFE is a nonprofit organization dedicated to advancing family and community growth through education. Their vision extends beyond traditional learning as they strive to provide opportunities in leadership, civic and social engagement, literacy development, and academic advancement to our culturally diverse community. Behind the scenes, there are so many amazing individuals who are driving this mission forward. Today, we will be talking with Jasmine Sanchez, the communications coordinator at CAFE. With over seven ex years of experience creating content online for social media platforms, Jasmine plays a vital role in sharing CAFE's programs, resources, and events with the community. She is responsible for crafting engaging social media posts, writing scripts for radio interviews, and even appearing on live interviews at local Spanish radio stations. On Network TV, we celebrate organizations like CAFE, where education goes beyond the classroom walls. Through heartfelt interviews and compelling stories, we shine a light on the profound impact of the education and strength of community bonds. Today, we invite you to join us as we explore the untold stories, dive into the transformational educational experiences, and meet one of the many extraordinary individuals who are making a difference through CAFE's unwavering commitment. Don't go too far, I'll be right back on air. And welcome back to Network TV, where we are talking about all things CAFE, an amazing nonprofit here in North Central Washington. And I'm excited to have Jasmine Sanchez, the bilingual communications coordinator at CAFE. Welcome on air. Thank you so much. We are so happy to be here today from myself and from CAFE. Well, CAFE is an incredible organization that NCW Tech Alliance really just started a partnership with, I think it was last year. It's been um, just a great partnership for us to reach more in the community, to collaborate on shared programs. Um, but before we get into all the good stuff of CAFE, I would love for our audience to learn a little bit more about you and your background. Yeah, that would be great. So like you introduced me, my name is Jasmine Sanchez. I grew up here in the Valley. I actually grew up in Casmer yeah. my entire life. My family is Mexican, so 100% mm -hmm. proudly Mexican Americans, yes. since I did grow up here. Yeah. My family's from Michoacan. I decided to go into the world of communications. I have always loved it. The camera, the scene, social media, just helping blast information to everybody. So that's just a little bit of background information about me. Wonderful. So you're a bulldog, right? Isn't that what the cashmere is? Are they bulldogs? I have to admit that yeah. I grew up in Casmere, but I graduated from Cascade, so I'm a Kodiak. Oh, <laughs> a Kodiak. All right. Awesome. <laughs> well, I love that you've got the local roots, um, and now you're really making a huge impact on the community. So tell me about that transition into this role. When did you start, and you know what attracted you to CAFE? So I have been in the communications world and social media for many years now, and I have worked with a couple of nonprofits previously to CAFE, but what specifically targeted me to land a CAFE at the moment is to help my Latino community, right? So there's so much information here. We are a huge part of the community and there's so many good things happening. And I really just wanted to get that connection and be the bridge of information, right? And just help out more. So that's what attracted me to Cafe, all the work that they're doing, the organizations. And I said, I should be helping there. <laughs> <laughs> that's incredible. I love that you're putting your personal and professional passions into, into serving more people. Um, Tell me a little bit about CAFE, you know, for people who are not familiar with the nonprofit. At the heart, what is the mission of your nonprofit organization? CAFE is the community for the advancement of family education. CAFE was founded in 2005. The previous amount of time before that, they were just focused on getting scholarships to students to really mm -hmm. help continuing education. And at the moment, CAFE is really well known to be the information hub for the Spanish speaking community, right? So everybody's always coming into our door to ask any questions about resources or what we can help with. And we do have many different programs that we provide free of charge since we are a nonprofit. 
Uh, you know, CAFE has a ton of programs <laughs> and resources. Um, and today we're only going to be able to like really dive into maybe yeah. just a few. Um, but tell me a little bit about um, maybe some of the positive impacts you've seen in the time working at CAFE and, you know, what's really excited you about having someone walk in the door and then the services you're able to provide. Something that really excites me is that when somebody walks into our door, they may be somebody who is brand new to the community or they have been here for many years and they don't know where to start to ask any question for help. So if somebody comes into our door and knocks and says, hey, what is going on in the community and how can I receive this specific type of help? We got you. Whether we have the programs or we're going to direct you to another of the wonderful organizations that are here in the Valley, we will always have an answer and a way to help somebody who walks into our door. That's incredible that you're the starting ground. And it's uh, for people, but it's not just individuals. You're also supporting businesses and other nonprofits, right? Yes. Okay. What a great question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we do have a program that is called Jefes Unidos, and in English that would translate to small business, specifically for Latinos. And why specifically for Latinos? There are so many businesses now that are owned by Latinos and maybe they don't have the correct resources or maybe they have a question about how to start an email address or how to have the proper identification or license or any permission that they need for their specific business. So we host different events and we provide resources. We also help with their marketing to create mm -hmm. any type of videos to share them online and basically to get them well known to have and help them have more business. That's that's an incredible um, offering for small businesses because, you know, um, our audience may not know, but in addition to the nonprofit, I also have two small businesses myself, and it's a hard space to navigate. <laughs> you know, an EIN number, a business license. So even if you, you know English is your first language and you've had more resources, creating business is hard. Let alone maybe not being able to connect into some of the traditional resources. So I think that's amazing. Yeah, and thank you. And just. To give more information, we don't only help you if somebody is Spanish speaking. Our doors are open to everybody mm -hmm. in the community. We just are a little bit more focused on the Spanish speaking community mm -hmm. because we know that there's not enough resources yes. for us. And that's why we want to provide them. That's incredible. Where are you? Where is Cafe's location? <laughs> yes. So we are located about three minutes from here. We're okay. located at 766 South Mission Street. And they are two green buildings right across from Dutch Bros. Okay. That's a good landmark good because landmark. everyone knows where the Dutch Bros <laughs> line Everybody. is coming down. Um, at a cafe, tell me a little bit about, uh, we've talked about the individuals you're serving and small businesses, but what is your service area? So who's tapping like into the cafe resources? Are you a Wenatchee only mm -hmm. organization or what does that look like? Oh my goodness, we cover Wenatchee, Kashmir, East Wenatchee, Okanagan, Chelan, many different areas. Mm -hmm. And I feel that every single day we are growing, we are getting reach from many different organizations, not just community members who want to partner with us mm -hmm. or who want to be involved in our programs to provide resources also for anybody who's walking into their door. And is this because, um, first of all, it's incredible that you're expanding. Um, but as you talked about a little bit earlier, there's not been a ton of resources that are maybe more targeted or supportive for our, our Latino and Hispanic community. Um, are, are you seeing a lot of gaps in those other communities where CAFE is coming in to fill? Or um, yes. yes, and we are seeing many gaps, especially for the rural communities who are maybe mm. smaller and don't have access to so many organizations near them. Our goal is to really have a well-known team in a lot of different communities so that they can provide the same resources that we do here in Monachi. That's that's an incredible. And let's talk about your team. <laughs> I walked into your building just this past <laughs> week and you are packed full of a team in there. Like you guys are working super collaboratively. Um, about how big is the cafe team now? I wanna say there's probably about 20 of us okay. in the office, yeah. but they are ambassadors who are doing outreach or out and about. Everybody has their own schedule working on different projects. Yeah. We are a growing team. You, and a very busy organization. <laughs> a very busy organization is uh, right. Now, um, tell me a little bit, I wanna talk, talk into the marketing spot. You know, why do you think it's important for organizations like CAFE or maybe even some of the people you're supporting to have a really strong presence online and through marketing? This is something that I'm so passionate about and the best answer that I have for you is that the world is changing. If you're not online right now, do you really have a business? 
mm. would be the right question. Everything is online, mostly. There's still a lot of people that are only in person. Maybe if you don't have access to internet, which is not so common at the moment, but we do a lot of outreach in person. But the online world just gives you access to reach a huge number of people in a very short time. And you can target a certain audience and you can really help share information and reach everybody who's not necessarily in your community. So I think that the more outreach that you have, social media platforms on all the platforms is yeah. better. Yeah. Is there differences that you found between um, the Hispanic Latino community and maybe the Anglo community in terms of which channels seem to attract the most visibility in terms of social media or platforms? Are there different strategies that you recommend? I would highly recommend to use the basics, Facebook and Instagram. Okay. They reach a different target audience, but we all have one of the two applications yes. and we are checking those posts daily whether you talk about it or you don't you are seeing what is happening <laughs> in the community right the so scrolling I, the scrolling right yeah. morning yeah. nighttime so i recommend that if anybody is working on yeah. projects just get your information out there right you're never going yeah. to know who needs to see and learn about the information that you're sharing right mm -hmm. until you do post something and you get a reach out from somebody now, what about the video part? Because you talked a little bit about that earlier, like making video content. What are your thoughts on video and how are you incorporating <laughs> that in cafe or for the support you're providing? Videos are awesome. When you see somebody on video, for example, I have seen you on video <laughs> and this is a great example, right? What can I get from you? You're friendly. It's going to be a good conversation. You really get the feel of a person mm -hmm. and you give that feeling of, okay, they are a real person. It's not just somebody that I'm emailing or calling and you say, well, they are approachable. Mm -hmm. So that's really important, right? So that you can feel more trustworthy with anybody. Well, that's a very nice compliment because <laughs> as I admitted to you earlier, I'm always nervous about watching myself on air. So that's very kind of you. Um, but I never thought about that kind of personal touch. It's um, in business and in nonprofit, it's really about that personal connection, not yes. just the service, right? And people want to get involved with organizations that are meaningful to them or they have a personal connection with. Um, well, it looks like we need to head out to commercial break. This is such a good conversation. Don't go too far. We're going to be right back on air just in a few minutes. Welcome back to part two of our feature with Cafe. Uh, I am here in studio with Jasmine. Uh, so fun talking to you in the first segment. I can see why you are a communication specialist, like you are a pro at interviewing. Um, let's dive a little bit more in detail into your role at Cafe. I'd love to learn a little bit more about that. That is, I'm so excited yeah. to share this. And thank you, by the way, for that compliment. It means so much to thank me. You. My role at Cafe is to know what is going on with everybody's program, all of the programs, anything and all that's happening, and to correctly share information on different media channels. So how do we do this? And the work that I do at Cafe is also the same help that we provide to anybody who wants to partner with us or to any of our small businesses. Everybody has access for this. <laughs> so we do partner with four local radio stations. We have live interviews every week on Wednesdays, and we also have continued ads on there. We have a Facebook account. I manage the Instagram account, and we're all be sharing flyers, events, or any important information from all and any programs. We recently have a partnership with a program that airs on Telemundo, on local Telemundo, which is a Spanish media in the Tri-Cities area and I'm just the go-to person for anybody who wants to get any of the information out there whether it's interviews like today yes and just any content that's a lot of multitasking it's a lot of multitasking. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> how what as a as a marketing professional any tips you have for people watching in today because that is a wealth of information you've got to navigate streamline and get out there I would recommend to everybody buy a pretty journal okay. and agenda and write everything down. Yeah, okay. If it's not on paper, it's not happening. <laughs> That's a good tip. Yeah, <laughs> keep track in one centralized place. Um, well, two. We were talking off air about two events that are you know really big at Cafe uh, that happen every month, and I'd like to maybe spend this next part diving into those. Tell me about um, those two different initiatives. Yeah, so we do have two monthly events. So this is an event that happens every single month. The first one is called Cafe Pachanga y Mercadito, and that's in Spanish, but in English it would just be almost a market. We have a lot of local food vendors or any type of vendors that 
are from the area. We always have a radio station that's live just announcing everything that's happening. We try to have a talent show, sometimes Zumba also. Okay, <laughs> love that. Zumba, right? You have to exercise. Yeah. And there are so many resources from all our cafe programs, but also from partners that are there. So there's a lot of organizations present with us during this event. It's always on the last Saturday of every month at our cafe office. We close the front street and we yeah. are there. Yeah. Everybody's more than welcome to come. And these are free family events. Mm. So if anybody's looking for something to do on a Saturday, you are always more than welcome. And this is just a way for us to bring the entire community together, for everybody to get to know the programs that we have to offer, to get to know and recognize the organizations that are partnering with us and helping our local vendors as well. That's impressive that you're doing this every single month because running events, I know from experience, are <laughs> a lot of logistical navigation. So kudos there. I want to highlight the fact that you mentioned it's not just your organization. Um, can other nonprofits sign up to be there or other businesses that maybe aren't just Hispanic or Latino focused? What does that look like? Yes, everybody is welcome. We do just ask for everybody to register or reach out to us before to be a vendor or to be a partnering organization with us. And everybody's more than welcome to table and bring their information. And it's a resource fair. <laughs> it's incredible. How many people come out to this usually? Usually Very. about, it can be anywhere from 200 to 300 people. Just really depends on the event. That's a, that's a big turnout. It's a big turnout, <laughs> That's right? a big turnout, yes. Um, now, what about the other um, event we wanted to highlight? Tell me a little bit more about that. So the other monthly event that CAFE offers is called Jefes Unidos, and this is a conference for Latino businesses, especially small businesses in the area, and it's a networking event. It is a professional mm. networking event. Everybody's invited. If somebody wants to start a business or they already have one, or maybe they have one but they're struggling a bit to find information, we do have a couple of different experts at each of these monthly events providing different information, different yeah. topics. There's leaders from around the area or outside of the area who are present with us. And we provide resources. If anybody needs help with marketing, we create videos for them once right. they're part of the business organization. Right. And it's also free to attend. It's a monthly meeting and it's just a great way to network and receive information. Our goal is always to boost businesses and just help them be known, right? And actually have business <laughs> and anything that they're missing. So I want to pinpoint further into there. You talked about the marketing. So in your role at CAFE, you're not only supporting the organization as a whole, but are you helping kind of tailor plans for those small business owners or giving them advice? Or is it other people on your team that's helping them with that? So I always say that it's, I am the main point of contact for communications, but there is a team that works also with me. We have a great photographer. Okay who is with me and him and I, and also the person in charge of the small business group. Okay. We always go together and maybe it can be a, a short, for example, of businesses coming in and say, hey, we want to help you with a promo video, okay. right? So we will sit down with you, maybe we can visit your business and we can record you and you can talk about yourself and the business, right? And help you edit the video and we create marketing that way for them. That's an amazing service, <laughs> huge benefit. T tell me maybe about someone, you don't have to say their name, but like a type of business that went through it recently and like what was their experience like? Yeah. <laughs> we recently created a video for a taxing and accounting. Okay. And a solo entrepreneur here in the area. Wonderful. <laughs> Latino owned. So that's just a good example. Somebody who maybe doesn't know how to use their social media or hasn't really dove into the social media world. And we saw that as an opportunity for her to create this for herself and be proud of the work that you are doing, right? Because mm -hmm. I always say, be proud of the work you are doing, whatever it is that you are doing. Um, and it was a great experience, I feel that for her and for us as well, because it's really compensating to know that your work is helping others and you're helping somebody go home happy, right? And they say, wow, that was such an exciting day. <laughs> well, and I can imagine too, someone like, you know, I, I don't want to stereotype certain industries, but like business professionals who are doing accounting or um, maybe more technical roles aren't the big marketing gurus, <laughs> right? Like they are super experienced in set roles. Most entrepreneurs don't have every um, tool in their shed. You know what I mean? Like a great chef may not be a great marketer, <laughs> right? <laughs> They're really good in the kitchen or a great CPA. So it's awesome that you're able to complement and help support their business in that way. Yeah, and it's great. I mean, it's not just myself. Cafe has a great team who literally helps with anything. And I do feel that 
one of our goals, especially in the office environment, is for all of us to work together. So if there's ever anything that I can help with, I'm more than happy to, or any coordinator at CAFE also. If they see a gap somewhere in any of the events going on, we all come together and we really work as a team. Well, you've got that open office where everyone's kind of buzzing in there, like I said, <laughs> that I saw. Yeah, <laughs> doing a lot of support. <laughs> um, let's talk a little bit more about how other people can get involved with CAFE, whether that's um, through the programs you're supporting, supporting um, through marketing or others? Yeah, so anybody who wants to be involved in CAFE is more than welcome. We are currently looking for volunteers, yeah. which is also a good opportunity for any high school students who need any community service hours, and we can help with events or anything that is going on. You're always welcome to partner at any of the events. We help with local vendors, so if somebody wants to be a local vendor with us or just simply wants more information about the programs, you can walk into our office. Our CAFE is open from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. Like I said, we're located just here on South Mission Avenue. So super close to here. <laughs> and also a good way to support us and just to be part of us is to follow us on social media. Oh, look at that plug. Yes, there it is. Right? Yes, yeah. <laughs> Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. It's at yeah. Wenachi Cafe. And just send us a message, like, share any posts that we do share. And that's always a boost, right, for any organization. Yeah. And those are just simple ways that you can get involved with us. Do you have to speak Spanish to get involved with Cafe? No, you don't have to speak okay. Spanish. All right. Everybody's welcome. Everyone's <laughs> welcome. Um, you know, but speaking of, I want to give one more shout out because we've used <laughs> CAFE for this. You actually do provide translation support for people who don't speak Spanish in organizations like NCW Tech Alliance. Right now, we don't have anyone on team bilingual. And when we need translation work, CAFE will do that for us. Yes. You have services to help support organizations who maybe need translation. Yes. yes. So CAFE opened up CAFE Language Connections and we provide translation and interpretation services because translation is just documents and if you're interpreting it's if you're speaking mm -hmm. and anybody's welcome to reach out if you ever need help also you can with any translation or any interpreting for a meeting we are also there to help you with that such a huge resource because <laughs> it's important to meet people where we are we have a huge hispanic latino community so you know having materials available in both i think is so important from a resource perspective. Um, well, we've run out of time. Um, I can't wait to have you back on air. <laughs> Let's have you back in a few months. You're so talented. <laughs> and you. talk more about what Cafe's doing. Maybe even bring on one of the small business owners. Yeah, They can do it awesome. online, like a live interview here in the studio. That would be great. Yeah. Well, thank you again for joining us this week on Network TV on the NCW Life channel. If you missed any part of today's episode, you can always watch it again online on YouTube on the NCW Life channel or at NCW Tech Alliance. Find us at ncwtech.org. We'll see you next week.